bringing civil rights history into 2023 and beyond. I'm Alberto Camargo in the College Town neighborhood where the Florida State Civil Rights Institute celebrated new beginnings on Monday evening with a soft opening. I attended the event to speak with students and leaders to get their thoughts on the new direction, new plans for the present, and a focus on the future. On stage, director Ted Ellis said when his artwork was featured at the CRI's inaugural event in 2018, he never thought he'd be at the head of the Institute. I met with him before the event and he said the CRI's focus is to inform students on history, but also to inspire them to continue the conversation and make waves in the civil rights space. When you look on this campus, uh, you see the future. And, and so our responsibility as faculty and, and, and staff is to improve um, human capital um, with our futures. That's the students here on this campus. The impact of the CRI actually spread to another campus. I spoke with FAMU student Dylan Joseph, who attended the event because he says FAMU doesn't have a CRI, but hopes the two schools can work together. He also says the CRI is important in the fight against laws that restrict teaching black history in state schools and others that would restrict diversity, inclusion, and equity programs in colleges. Governor Ron DeSantis has previously labeled these programs as woke indoctrination, adding the programs are racially divisive and discriminatory. In 2022, the governor signed the Stop Woke Act, which restricts certain race-based conversations in schools and businesses. Dylan says a dedicated CRI is crucial. A civil rights facility in a college is very much necessary because due to what's going on politically, things such as this will wane away or disappear completely if we don't grasp it completely. Although the FSU Institute isn't in direct response to these new laws, Co-founder Fred Flowers, the first black student athlete in FSU history, says the CRI does aim to create political change. It's going to focus on historical facts, uh, American history, human rights, civil rights, and which ultimately culminates into some type of recommendations for policy changes and considerations. The CRI tells me it plans to mark its hard opening on Martin Luther King Day in January. In College Town, I'm Alberto Camargo. ABC 27.